Okay, this brush is not gonna do it. everyone welcome to today's video if you are new here I'm Jamie B thanks for stopping by if you are already subscribed then welcome back so in today's video I am going to be doing a highly trending video makeup challenge mix up I am going to be trying popular TikTok beauty slash makeup hacks um, I have seen a lot of different people do this on YouTube I've seen a million and one people do this on TikTok so I decided you know what why not have a little fun have a little joke while we're all stuck inside if you are excited to see what happens with these TikTok hacks, are they hacks, are they whack, what are they? Then go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and we will get right into it. All right guys, so I went ahead and I put my eyebrows and the top of my eyeshadow on off camera. I actually cannot do the bottom until after I do my face stuff and that's gonna be within the beauty hacks that I'm doing. So the first one is gonna be the highest or most popular trend that I've seen and it's gonna be a foundation one so the first thing that she says to do in the TikTok, if I remember is to moisturize so that's what we're doing and today I am using the milk makeup vegan milk moisturizer um, I like how this feels it's very thick so it does really feel like it's giving me a good nice hydrated moisturized feel and honestly it's kind of tacky so it feels like it's gonna stick like a primer too I know that sounds weird all right and then the next thing is setting powder so today I'm using the Kylie cosmetics in translucent setting powder and she says just dab it all over she says not a lot all right so then the next is the setting spray I'm using the luminous setting spray by morphe and then she says let that dry so we're gonna let that dry so I'm thinking that this is not really gonna be my thing because I have really dry skin but we'll see we'll see it does look kind of smooth I won't lie but um, I'm letting it dry right now how was everybody's Easter we had a pretty good Easter it definitely didn't feel like Easter I don't know if anyone else felt that way but I did not feel like it was Easter it was really really strange not going anywhere and not having any family over so that was new. All right, so I'm gonna go in with the primer now that my face is dry, and this is the Milk Hydra Grip Primer. And I will tell you, my face feels itchy. I don't know if I'm supposed to rub my primer in, because then I feel like, I feel like everything I just put on just like rubbed away. All right, so I'm going in with my Luminous Silk Foundation by Giorgio Armani. And we're going to put that on over top of all this. All of this. Like, it's so much I just put on my face. I can already tell that this is not going to be my jam. Yeah. It's making it all, like, super textured and super dry. It is sticking very well. So I'll give it that, but... You guys have to remember that on these TikToks, they have the smoothing beauty filter on. So that's why it looks the way it does. Cause like in person, I can tell you right now, it does not look like that. Unless you have like perfect skin. You can't pick it up on camera, but I'm telling you, it's so textured and dry. Like it's really, really getting my under eyes dry. All right, so the reason I picked this foundation today is because it gives me a light to medium coverage. So I didn't have like a full coverage foundation over top of all that mess. And I will tell you, like it definitely is going to hold this makeup. I can feel it, but it's super dry and I feel like my face is like, ah, ah. however, the foundation is bomb. Like look how luminous I look mm -hmm. just from the foundation, but it's expensive. So. Back to what I was doing. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my concealer. I don't have a hack for that, so I'm gonna do quick concealer and I'll be right back. Okay, so I used the Kylie Jenner translucent powder here on my eyes. I have like some sticking in here like really bad. Okay. So I used the Kylie Jenner setting powder in translucent to go ahead and set the eyes and I'm having issues with it 
sticking in these areas. I don't know if you can see that on camera and I usually don't have that. So I'm wondering if that whole underneath foundation powder hoopla just fudged out my whole makeup look. But this, I also, for concealer, I use the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric. They say that it is a full coverage, I'm almost certain, but this definitely is more of a lightweight, so. All right, so the next one is gonna be Fake Freckles, and I'm going to be doing it in this container lid. So basically, all you have to do is put bronzer and setting powder into a container, mixy, mixy, flicky, flicky basically all that it is. So I'm gonna use the Kiko Milano um, bronze right here because it's super, super dark. So I feel like it won't be super orange. It'll actually be like freckles because I feel like freckles are gonna be orange if I use like a legit bronzer. And I'm gonna go in with a pair of tweezers and scrape a little out. So I have the mixture in here like this and from the video you just flick it on your face. Alright, so the brush I'm going to be using is this Real Techniques like, I think it's a blurring concealer brush but it has the most flick in the brush if you will. So I'm going to go ahead and put some on the ends here, not too much, and I'm just going to, I'm just going to flick it. Okay. It did nothing. All right, let me get a lot on there. Let me get a lot. Let me get a lot. Okay, it looks <laughs> like it's barely doing anything at all. Let me turn this down. No, you can't even see it. All right, let's try this again. Okay, we got a little something. I'm gonna try to use a different brush because I'm not finding that it is working. I do have some showing up here. I don't know if you can see that I turned the lights down, but still hard to see. And I'm gonna take a different brush, more of like one like this, because it's denser, more dense. All right, let me make some more mixture. All right, and I'm gonna try to do it like this. I got my. I don't know if it's my bronzer or what. This is not working, and I've seen like a lot of people use this hack. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> oh my god. I think I did too much over there. <laughs> okay, I gotta fix this. <laughs> Okay. So I have it working, but this looks like it's, I look like I have coffee all over my face. Okay, that was a fail. And now my makeup looks like trash. So let me turn this light down. Okay. Okay. Couldn't get it to show up here. Way too much over here. I look like I have dirt on my face. I'm gonna see if I can take this and kind of just like wipe it off <laughs> no cool all right so that was a fail for me i was not a fan i will not be redoing that um if you guys have a better way of doing it if i did it wrong then comment below and let me know because uh, that did not turn out for me so moving on the next one is putting foundation on my lashes and then mascara so i guess i won't be doing false lashes today and real quick I'm gonna go off camera and put on my bottom eyeshadow and I'll be right back all right so I just put a pop of green underneath I'm kind of trying to do like a springy look um we'll see how that goes so as for my eyelashes I'm going to be going in with the Jeffree Star spoolie and I'm gonna go ahead and dip it into a, my foundation and you're supposed to just Put it on there, let it dry, and then let the mascara do the rest. So we shall see. And I'm also going to be doing my next hack at the same time because that one is also with my eyelashes. And this is supposed to 
make them look fuller. So while this foundation dries, I'm going to go to the next hack, which is on the bottom lashes. All this did, I feel like, was make me look like I have no lashes. <laughs> Alright, so the next one is very similar. And I'm going to need a mirror for this. So, basically what the girl did from what I saw, if I can remember, is she took her mascara wand and she put her tweezers on it so she could get mascara on the tweezers. Okay, we got them on the tweezers. And then she just, oh god, that seems like a lot. Maybe I did too much. I wiped off a little bit. And then she just kind of like squeezed them to give that chunky, like thick eyelash on the bottom, like how you put individual lashes. Okay, so it somewhat worked, but I have such like light brow or light eyelashes that I feel like you would have to already have long ones for this. So it worked. But it got, I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. It also got mascara all over my lower lid. So I'm going to put mascara on like normal because I have messed up that eye. So again, like I said, um, if you have very sparse eyelashes, that trick is not going to work for you. I think that trick is only going to work for someone who has pretty full lashes and can separate that many. Because what she did was she did it in like five groups. So what it did was it just looked like you put individual lashes in. So I'm going to go hide to my upper lashes now that they had time to dry with the foundation. And I'm going to apply some mascara. That's all this is to do. Foundation, let it dry, mascara. And I am using the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. It's my favorite mascara. It's a little messy on the tube, but it gives me the fullest lash effect. So I actually feel like that one did not do so bad. Like for being just my lashes, like I said, I have very sparse lashes. That actually did pretty well. I think it's like the same concept of um, primer, like eyelash primer. So that one is a good. Lower lash is a bad. Let's move on. Okay, so this one is the one I wanted to do, and it's funny. This isn't a serious one. It is for your lower, your upper lip. You're supposed to put glue here and like go like this, and it's supposed to stick. So let's see how this goes. All right, so I'm going to put lash glue on this little brush. All right, so I'm just supposed to put some here and here and here, and then I just have to let it dry for a second. So while it's doing that and getting tacky... This is going to look ridiculous. I'm going to move on to putting my bronze, actual bronzer on. Because I don't have a hack for that one either. So I'm going to go ahead and bronze up my face. Alright, so now that this is dry, you just go like this. Okay, that did nothing. Okay, I don't know. That one was just to be fun, but... Alright, so we're moving on past that one. It did not work out. I don't know if it's my glue, what it is, but it just won't... It will not stick. I don't know if my lip's too big. I don't know. What I know is it looks really cakey and gross. So... That was also a fail. Alright, so the next thing I need to do is my blush. So I have a lipstick for blush. So it's a cream lipstick. And it's like a pinky coral. And I'm supposed to put like an X on my cheeks. This is either going to turn out really good or really bad. Alright, so I'm going to go in with a more dense of a brush than I usually do. This is the Real Techniques Buffering, buffering Brush. And I'm just going to try to like... Get that X to get off my cheek. Now I have seen obviously like cream brush blushes, but like lipsticks can be pretty thick, so they're hard to blend out. And this is just not, it is getting rid of 
all of my foundation and concealer. All right, so I'm gonna try to blend this one out with my finger and see, maybe I need more. I think I need more. I just need more than that X was giving me. I about had it. I have about had it. It's about as good as I'm getting because my cheeks are not red because of blush at this point. They're red because I'm like digging into them. <laughs> Okay, so we are gonna move on to the next step. That one was a fail. I think if you're gonna do it, you should, it did get rid of those spots though, I'll tell you that. So now I do look like I have faux freckles, but not like that dirty coffee stain. Um, I think if you're gonna do it, you should probably do it with a cream brush, ugh, cream blush, or a liquid lipstick before it can dry because the cream just kind of stuck to my cheeks and I had to like beat the crap out of my face to get it to work. All right, so the next one I have is foundation or highlighter and setting spray. So you put highlighter on. I'm using the old Jaclyn and Becca palette. And I'm gonna go in here with, I think this one is Prosesco Pop. And I'm gonna go like this. So what you're supposed to do here is put your highlighter on and then go over it with setting spray and then put your highlighter on again and it's supposed to really make it pop. We're gonna see, so. Oh, that is like dripping down my face, okay. Okay, and then right over that same spot. Ooh! Okay, so that one definitely works. That is definitely a plus you just have to be careful because when I did that I don't know if it's my setting spray or what happened it kind of like trickled down my face causing it to like run and smear but if you look like that really <laughs> just be careful because now I'm like really really highlighted which is never that big of an issue but like this might be a little extra <laughs> really highlighted my face so that one was a plus I like that one and the next one is actually an old one. I feel like this was before TikTok. Um, us makeup people were doing this before liquid lipstick was a real big thing. So you're supposed to take a cream lipstick. I'm taking KKW and Mario's Classic. Yeah, Classic K. Okay, so you're supposed to put on the cream lipstick and then take a setting powder, which is this and then dab all over it and it makes it a matte. So let's see what we got. Which like I said, we've been doing this long before TikTok. And I did it with tissue before too. And there we have it. We just turned a cream to a matte. Now, what I like about this, this is actually super awesome and a really amazing hack because what it does is it gives you that matte look but not that matte feel. Like I can still feel that sticky creaminess of it, but if you look, there's no shimmer. It's super matte looking, but it doesn't feel super matte. So that is really stinking awesome. There was another one where it was like blush for lipstick, but I'm not gonna do that one. Okay, so the last one I'm going to be doing is a body shimmer spray you can make your own i know like iconic london has it i know um color pops collection skincare collection i don't even know what it's called anymore has it so i'm gonna take the only setting spray i was willing to get rid of and that was the um kat von d one lock it and then using the color pop pose loose setting powder. I'm literally gonna pour some on a paper and then pour it into this container and it's supposed to make it like, ooh, pretty shimmery, ooh la la. So we'll see. So I don't know how much I'm supposed to like put in here. I'm gonna put a lot. Uh, I'm making a mess. All right, so I'm now supposed to take the lid and put it back on. Now the problem is it's not gonna be real pretty swirly whirly because you can't see <laughs> Oops. all right so i'm gonna spray this on my hand Let's see what we got no i don't think i 
didn't do enough. All right, we're going back in. I didn't do enough. Okay, so I wasn't really getting where I wanted to with that powder. So, and I couldn't get the lid off, so what I did was I went to all of my loose setting powders, that, not all of them, that are open and sideways, which was about four of them, some Kylie, some ColourPop, uh, Becca one with Chrissy Teigen, and so you know how if you put them sideways in your container, in your drawers, they spill out? That's what I did, so everything that was sitting up in the top of it, I just poured it into this, so let's hope I do not waste all this highlighter. I'll be sad. To be fair, I'm wasting it because I don't. Oh no! And there it goes. I put it all over the table. So I feel like some of these work and some of them don't. And then some of them like this one that are just not worth the hassle. Like just buy the body shimmer because this was not worth what I just had to go through and the mess I just had to make. Alright. So it definitely gives me a glowy look, but I'm not the biggest fan of that. So let's go ahead and finish off. All right, guys. So here is the final look with all of the tips or hacks I tried. I really kind of hated them all except for the lip one and the highlighter one. But other than that, and then the upper lash mascara one, but other than that, <laughs> Just leave what's on the internet for fun. Um, don't try this stuff for real. The foundation thing, I hate it. My skin is way too dry and way too textured for that. The freckle thing was a hot mess. I'm going to try to do it later on when I'm not on camera and see if I can perfect it a little bit better. But I hope you guys enjoyed this fun video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And as always, I will see you on the next one. Bye.